Big Run Production. What's poppin', y'all? So check this out once again, man. This is your big homie, MC Ron Ski, the OG, a.k.a. Big Run 357. G to the face yeah. is in the place. Ah. Yes. I usually let them introduce themselves, but, you know, me and this man, we was at the, the Spit That Heat battle, man, and, uh, hey, <laughs> we, we, we got down, you know what I'm saying? We was just talking about a whole bunch of stuff, but I'm going to let this man explain a couple things about what's going on. You do have a battle league, right? Yeah, yeah. I got okay. a battle league, uh, you know. My history will go hard or go home, so, you know, we, we, we spoke of a way for me to elevate my way in a battle rap game rather than me just be a battler. I'd rather just, you know, focus on owning something, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. be somebody that used this battle rap to his advantage and grow something. Right, you know right. Saying? Grow something. So, so. We, they had the fire range a long time ago. They tried to do it with a couple people. It didn't all the way work. So, you know what I'm saying, I, I decided to take this project in on my own, as my own, put in my own work, okay. and, you know, get my own results. So, okay. so, yeah, it's something that I got, so it is the firing range, you know what I'm saying, if people know me on Facebook, Ellis Lewis on Facebook, if y'all know me on Facebook, y'all see me sharing battles through the firing range, or if you in a group, you know what I mean, y'all see me, so yeah, that's what that is, man. Good looking, go harder, go home, shout out, go harder, go home, man, I still fuck with them boys. Okay, so so the fire range is that a page? You got a page for the fire range? Yeah, it's a page. It's actually a battle rap league. So okay. you know what I'm saying. If y'all can hit me, if y'all want to get put on a stage for Milwaukee, I'm focusing really on rookies. Right, right. Like motherfuckers that's really like not heard or they was hot and now they trying to get back. It's okay. basically the gym to come. You know what I'm saying. Oh, Step okay, your skill okay. up and because you know the leagues up in here, there's only like. Two and a half good leagues here in right. Milwaukee. Okay, you know what okay. I'm and then there's a couple leagues that starting off that has potential. Right, right. Here in Milwaukee, so you know, made the best man win. Yeah. I feel you. I feel you. Now you have an affiliation with uh, Say Mercy too, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Say Mercy. That's my nigga Akbar Britton. You know okay. What I'm saying? Me and me and my man Say Mercy battle league came from me and him just bouncing ideas from each other. Okay. And uh, uh, you know Akbar, he. He, he, he just got out of prison, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Congratulate to that. And he trying to just find his way. Mm -hmm. You know, he just trying to find his way, so. He's doing a pretty decent job, too, man. I mean, I mean he's starting off in the right direction. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, well, he got some. He got the likes of, like, Scotty Boy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? People people of that nature. Yeah, Scotty Lyrical. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, 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 hey, yeah. once again, hey, Scotty, you ringing, baby. You ringing. Yeah, yeah, we we going to yeah. have to continue to mess with you, man. And you know you got to come on back down here. But, yeah, um. Yeah, man, I mean, it's it's just to a point where, you know, in the game, like right now, with the battle rap in itself, man, it just seems like it's so much going on. It is. You know what I'm saying? It it's is. a whole lot going on. So what's going to have to happen is, like, every time somebody do something, it's going to have to be like, you're going to have to brand something. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to make a brand to a point where if if you if you do an event, everybody going to have to have a reason to come to your right. event. You know and what I'm saying? And I think that's what battling. Right. It's just a tool to do that. Exactly. Because, you know, when I first got in the game, everybody talked about branding yourself. Right, brand right. yourself. Brand yourself. Brand right. yourself. So, I'm actually doing it physically. Mm -hmm. And y'all all can see that. Like, okay, I see what you're doing, G-Face. And then now your battles are stepping up. You right, know right. You take, so. You're being smarter about the people that you battle. It's, it's all about progression. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Growth and development. Already. So, Already. you know, you're going to see that in the flesh because, you know, I'm a gangster. Anyway, so, you know, you're going to see growth and development out of me. That's, I took it into my personal life, and that's what I live by. Okay, okay. That's what's up, man. Yeah. So, I mean, do you actually have you do you do have music like right now? Do you have music? Yeah, now? I got some. I got some. I got some old joints with uh, this entertainment uh, company, Million Entertainment. If y'all, anybody in the mill ever heard of them, I used to be with them. You know what I'm saying? I, I went by a different name then because I was a different person then. Okay. You know, you know so. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I got music out there with them. Uh, Body Gang mixtape. Body Gang. Y'all can, <laughs> can, can look out for the Body Gang mixtape. That's in the works right okay. now. You know Speaking what I'm of saying? which, Killer Shout B. Shout out Bass Runners. You know what I'm saying? Killer B. That's yeah. one of my niggas. Uh huh. Showstopper. Yeah. Uh, post the Been Here Today. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh, that's all good though. I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping. You no, know, I got y'all. For sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? It's it's all love. It's all love. So, um, I mean, with that being said, man, I mean, is there is there like anything that you would like to elaborate on as far as like the politics, ethics, or like the direction of battle rap right now? Um, the direction of battle rap right now, to me, I think it's just it it didn't did a full circle. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because it went around one time. Certain leagues in Milwaukee elevated, you know what I'm saying, some downsized. Right. Then there was room for expansion, niggas to start bra branching out, doing their own thing. Okay. So now that battle rap is now back in a full circle with all the entities now in battle rap. You got right, right. Say Mercy, you got Fire and Range, you got Go Hard or Go Home. Right. You got Heat Rock, you right. got Black Ice Cartel, you got the... Spit you know that heat. Spit that heat, Midwest. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got. You know, you just said that. one that I actually want to touch on, like the, the, the black ice, the, the cartel. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, did they have they did anything lately here? Mm -hmm. I know they got a store over on Six and Mitchell, I do believe. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but have they actually they did any venues here lately? Have they did yeah, any events? Yeah, they yeah. just had the cage here with Killer B. Killer B battled Top Law. Oh, okay, okay. Cool, was, cool, that was cool. here in Milwaukee. Now, Killer B is one of their artists, right? Yeah, he cartel. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah. I mean, it, it's just like um, I had I had Browse Day uh, page, mm -hmm. and you did say that Killer B is one of their artists, but I ain't seen him. I mean, is he? Is he? No, that battle actually that battle just dropped. No, no, no. I'm talking about just the page in ago. itself. Like you know, I was I oh, was being their page. I ain't in their page no more. Oh no. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, I checked it out a couple times, man. I, I don't. I mean, I was just you know just. Checking out, and I, I, I'm checking out. So would you out say they're the not promoting them? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I mean, oh, but I mean, because they, they did just drop his battle. Oh, oh okay. They dropped his battle. Um, it dropped a couple of days ago, like two, three days ago. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, cool. So cool, it's cool, recent. Cool. It's fresh. Okay, and who who did he battle? Ty Law. Uh, was it Ross? I ain't mm -hmm. see a chance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Killer B two one. Yeah. And I only get Ty Law around because I used I used to be a fan of yours. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be. You know? Okay, okay. Well, you know what? You still got it, though. You still hey, got it. Respect. Yeah. You know, whatever the case. Um, okay, well, yeah, man. That's what's happening then. So, in your opinion, man, I mean, and I, I need to ask because I really don't know, but who is doing the most numbers right now as far as... Battle League? Yeah, in the Battle League. I'm talking about like here in Milwaukee, not abroad. It'd be Cartel. Yeah, Cartel doing it. That's no debate. Right. Like, you know, people then took hiatuses and things that happened in Battle Rap. That delayed pro, you know what I'm saying, progress. So, okay. and Black Ice, like you know, they was consistent. You know what I'm saying for like two, two years, two, three years. They oh, was yeah, they consistent. Ringing. Yeah, they had a long run. And so yeah, they ring I don't think nobody caught up to them yet. Ain't uh, nobody gonna catch. Like John Doe got the best footage in the game. Okay. Of battle rap, not just Milwaukee. Right. Of battle rap. Okay. Culture rock. This nigga footage, it changed battle rap footage. Right. Literally. Okay. It literally changed battle rap. After that shit, everybody started trying that shit. Now who you know who is saying? who is actually John though? Who is that? Who who actually runs that? He the cameraman for Black Ice. Oh, cartel. okay, yeah, he okay. And yeah, he had a lead? No, he in cartel. Oh, oh you know okay. okay. Black Ice and John Doe, they they the Go hand they in hand. The, yeah, they the masterminds of everything. Oh, okay, cool, yeah, yeah. cool. That's that, that's what's up then. All right, yeah. all right. Well, yeah, we done we done touched on that then. Okay, well, you know what? I need to ask you a question though. What's that? You being being uh, well, are you battle rapping like now? Do you still battle rap? Of course you do. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, take my time with it though, and be smart. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, like in battle rap, like a lot of shit go on. Life goes on. Bullshit in the street go on. You know what I mean? You be guilty by association with other niggas, so that shit go on. Right, right. It's right. a lot of shit go on, and then you run into niggas who say they about something, and then time will tell that they not. You pretty know much, what I'm saying? Pretty much. That's the game. Yeah, that's so the game. battle rap right now for motherfuckers that's new like me is seesawing. Right. You have some good days, you got some bad ones. But you know, motherfuckers who didn't have a run, they say that's normal. Okay. So. If you don't have that, then you ain't doing shit. So at least I can say I'm doing something because I have those days. Okay. Well, you know, you know and your honest opinion, man, besides yourself, who do you think, man, like, who, who is your absolute fave, like, as far as the Milwaukee battlers are concerned, man? Who, who you think 
Who who is your fave actually? For real. And, and 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 you know what? Trust me. This is ain't this is not saying that anybody is better than another person. This is all about a matter of opinion. And this is is this man's opinion right now. I want to know who is your absolute fave right now here in Milwaukee. Absolute favorite. Your absolute fave. If if you if you had to pay a hundred dollars to get in a venue, who would it be? <laughs> that's a lot of money, ain't it? Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. And they was telling me, man, that's what they pay getting the smack battles. But we ain't on that. But what what who who would who would be your absolute fave to go see? For real. And I know it's quite a, it's quite a few, man. It's it's some dudes out here that's really doing it is some serious business right now. For real. Okay, my bias opinion, mm -hmm. I would say it would be Killer B. Killer B? He would be the one that I'd go see, but that's my gang opinion. Okay, okay. But outside of the gang, if I was to come as a fan, the motherfucker I would want to see cook is GE. My man. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. For real, for real. G E is a he's a he's a great performer, man. That yeah, dude, yeah. he takes care of his business, yeah, man. I love them bars that yeah. that dude be spitting. He he definitely I mean, intellectual. And I'm gonna be all the way cut with you, my nigga. <laughs> you been getting fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> been getting fucked up, my nigga. Yeah, that tears over but tears was yo kinda... status. You can, you know what I'm saying? Your status so motherfucking great. Them, them little scratches on your armor and shit. That, that yeah. just show that you've been through a war or you've been through some shit. But so, yo, yo, your status is undeniable, King. And like from Milwaukee, if I was to put besides Killer B, if I was gonna put Milwaukee on anybody back, it would be GE. It'll be Killer B, and then if he, you know what I'm saying, can't do it or won't do it, I know GE would. I, I, I concur. You know I, mean? I concur. And I got AQ. AQ cold as hell too though. Then I, I like got, dude. I got Cat Boy. I, I was wondering when you was gonna say the battle rap bully. Yeah. Yep. Hoodlum. I, I well he could I he got, getting up I got there. to say he getting up there man. but he would be on my say, team. <laughs> I, yeah. Now Hoodlum Hoodlum is is definitely one of those cats, man, that I would definitely get a thumbs up too. No, now, no, yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah. Me too. But you say he just wouldn't be on your team. Yeah, if only for the simple fact, I got to see in battle rap, you freestyling shouldn't be your number one primary weapon. Right. You should have, you should know how to write your shit and let the freestyle be the cherry on the, let that be the added weapon to make you lethal. Well, now, hold you on now. now that's, with, that's the strategy. But with my, with my dude Hoodlum now, he you. done, he done, he, he done actually admit it to forgetting lines, but he kept going with freestyle, with freestyle right, until right. he was, and see, that goes that's back creativity to what I'm just right now there, talking though. about. You know, he wrote, but then he forget his shit and he go into the but, freestyle. But, did, but I'm, I'm talking about, did that take anything away from the battle though? No, no. Okay. Except that, for the bars. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it took well, the bars away. I mean, but but when he got back on it, man, because it was... see, one thing about freestyle battlers that I noticed is that freestyle battlers feed off the energy of the crowd. If the mm -hmm. crowd ain't giving him no energy, then the freestyle ain't gonna be as cold as it was if everybody was geek and pumped for every line. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So that's the that's the give and take with freestyle battlers, and I don't, I see more potential in Hulum than to be a freestyle battler and have to deal with those kind of odds. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. He better than that. So Definitely. I, I can understand know, that. I don't want him to go in there with just a freestyle, you know what I'm saying, thinking a nigga light. Because okay. as soon as you think a nigga light, that's when you're going to get punched in the face. For sure. You know? Okay, with that being said, you know, we just elaborated on the ethics and the politics of battle rap. Yeah. This is my man G Face. G to the finish, some live and effect, live and direct, man, here with no chilling, no fucking filter. That's what I'm talking you know what I'm about. It ain't personal, it's just business. That's what I'm talking about. So check this out. Um, before we before we wrap this up, once again, I already told y'all that I'm gonna pose a question to all my all my visitors. So today's question to my man G Face. What do you, personally, and it, I need a no chill, no filter answer, man, to this question. What do you feel, how do you feel, and what is your take on deadbeat mothers? <laughs> that's right, that's right. Take a deep breath and let us have it. Come on. Um, I think deadbeat mothers should be exposed just as much as deadbeat fathers. Facts. Um... Facts. 
Don't be acting like you hoes ain't trifling. <laughs> Don't be trying to act like you hoes still ain't trying to pop up at the club, get drunk, and get took down. <laughs> Don't act like niggas like me ain't still with it. <laughs> I'm with the shits. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. why take it to a step further where you... You you trying to bash a nigga for his shortcomings, cause bitch, from what I just named, y'all got shortcomings too. Okay. Don't do that to a nigga. You know okay, what I mean? okay. And you are you? I mean, I, personally, are you like a single father? Are you and your kids? Oh like, yeah, man, I'm a single father. Okay, you know, okay. You know, I was married, got divorced. You know. Uh, Fought for my daughter, my youngest baby. And when you say saying? fought, you mean went through court. The you know okay. what I'm saying? Um, situation where my baby mama put my daughter up for some kind of adoption shit. Wow. And I stepped in because right. obviously they didn't know I was involved in her life. So but what? you know, uh, child support to tell you that I've been here for a minute. Right, right. You know, so, so, it's all on black and white. And that's what they told me. They was like, man, if you see you've been paying child support here, and here it is. And, and I was like, I didn't even know. And she was like, well, yeah, she's down here now, and we have to notify you. Oh. And I was like, so well, what do I got to do? And she was like, well, from here it says, um, your mo uh, the, the mother says you don't want your daughter. Wow. And I said, I'm on my way down there. Exactly. You know, okay. went down there. They told me, you know, it, when I went down there, me and my baby mama, we seen each other. She blew up. The lady that was watching her. Right. She happened to be a lawyer, a, a GAL. Right. For my daughter. Right, right. It was her lawyer. And she took me in a room and she told me, gave me a game plan. I stuck to it for two and a half years. Got my daughter. We good. So you all good then? Yeah. She That's still get about. visitation. Okay. But she plan on that. You know what I mean? And I'm like, well, I just put her on child support. <laughs> you know, <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Okay. I just okay, put her down okay. there and put her on child support. And, like, and, and you know what? It's just so funny. Because if I was to be the nigga right. play with my visits right. and fuck your plans up, right. I would be on child support. Exactly. Getting all them arrears. Exactly. Come and the on, funny, man. and you know what, and I'm keeping it all the way 100 right now, man. You know, um, my son, you know, free my boy. Um, yeah, free that nigga. Man, free my boy, man. Um, he was brought to me at the age of like one and a half, two years old. He had some medical conditions, man. And mm -hmm. I'm not going to go back and, and, you know, I'm not going to go into to, to the reasons. But bottom line is his conditions weren't too great. They brought him to me and said, hey, you know, either you're going to have to take him. You, you ain't, ain't no either. Mm -hmm. Leave him here. It's a wrap. And I, and I had him, you know, and of course I needed the help, and I got Salute the help. You. For sure, thanks, yeah, brother. To you. you know what I'm saying? And I got the help, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And and it's to a point where, okay, I'm doing all this stuff. I'm doing all this stuff to, to, to catch up with the mother and, you know what I'm saying, get me some child support and all yeah. this type of stuff. And they started just rejecting me. They, they started sending me letters so we can't find her. But every time I turn around, though, oh, man. I saw uh, your son, Mama, man, working up there at such and such. Ho, 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 ho. Working up where? How is she working? And and I'm I'm over here and I'm I'm look. You see a little bullshit like it, that. It cost me fifty bucks every time I go down there to fill out the paperwork man, for the sheriff to go to the house. Real. And they study sending me paperwork they like no, know. we can't find but it. But it seemed like they be getting that shit for free, cause man, uh, look though, if I it get was me, numerous of paper. Think about it. If it was me or you, <laughs> think about it. If it was me or you. We could, uh, we, in, a deep, in the deepest, darkest jungle of Africa, the damn, wherever you at, it'll be somebody in, in a brown suit with a, with, a, with a badge on, knocking on your hut door, man, giving you papers like you've been yeah, served, man, you been but they can't served. find the girls. I, look, check this out. Yeah, I ain't getting no arrears. I, I ain't getting nothing. Man. I owe. I still owe the money for the... For, for the for the, the birth for, for the birth yeah yeah, yeah I still so owe the money for the birth yeah I got to do medicals too right yeah oh yeah to all my baby mamas out there I did go to child support for a modification you know what I'm saying for my other kids that I got out there outside my situation that I got right now I did go to the for the modification y'all should be getting letters because like you said man I, I pay my little cheese you know what I mean yeah be looking for them that's what I'm telling because they looking for you okay. Yeah. Y'all just got a no chill, no filter answer to deadbeat mamas. <laughs>
You know what I'm saying? Hey, you hoes better step y'all game up, man. <laughs> <laughs> you hoes better step y'all game up, man. Y'all ain't y'all ain't fooling nobody. Once again, my man, yeah. nobody. Man, like I said, man, it's Jeep Face, man. Body Gang Jeep Face, man. I'm Most live in fact, live and direct, man. That's what I'm no chill, about. no filter, man. TV, man. Yes, sir. I'm at us. Gangs, Milwaukee. Man. And this this your big homie MC Ryan Ski, the OG, and you've been tuned too. No chill, no filter TV. Hope y'all enjoyed this here episode, man, with my man G-Face in yeah. the place, man. Ah, ah. Look, and we will be back, you feel oh, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before y'all go, June 17th, man, my nigga Akbar Britton Lee, St. Mercy Battle League, man. Yours truly will be biting the nigga head off. You don't need to know his name, man. Just know his face. You know All right. Yeah. Get there. Peace. Okay, yeah, man, so...